One of the best ways to improve your sales on Amazon is to improve the click-through rate and the conversion rate. And this is why I like to look at tools that can help A-B test to figure out what the best image is to get that goal. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, we're gonna do a live cold demo of IntelliV. And you may have heard of uh, one of its competitors, PickFew. Uh, here, we're gonna go in and look at how this tool works and why you might wanna check this out. So this is the first time I've logged into this portal. I generally understand what I'm gonna expect here, but I like doing cold reviews because it's kind of what you're gonna experience when you sign up for a new tool and you can see what it's like. Like, uh, it's cool, so they got a Q&A coming up here. And um, when we look at the poll types, uh, in here you can select between main image, image stack, product idea validation, or learn from the competitors. So I'm gonna do an image stack comparison. And the two products that I'm gonna look at today are both under Age of Sage and my Artisan Soaps. And these two soaps right here, this one right there and this one, are the exact same product. But the reason why I wanna test this out, and we're gonna go to each product and we're gonna look at the image stack, is because I wanna hear from consumers the language that they use and the way that they justify which product or image stack is superior and why. And there is a couple of different uh, aspects on how you can test this, but we're gonna go for a full image stack and let's take a look here. So here's what a sample report could look like. So let's check that out. And in here we've got, uh, we've got response rate, age distribution, which one won, one of the coolest things about this tool is that they have positive and negative votes. And this is something I haven't seen somewhere else before. The ability to downvote something and give a negative view could be valuable information because if your product is off-putting, there might be a reason for it and you might be able to sell into that objection. So here's kind of what the demo looks like. Gives you the positive ratios, the negative ratio, best worst image, and why. And that's what we're gonna hopefully expect to do with our product here. So we're gonna start the image stack poll. And why run an image stack poll? This poll will give you a comprehensive analysis of your product images compared to two competitors. All right, and we're gonna do name and question and fill this out. All right, so let's scroll down, see if I can clear that out and take a look here. Uh, and so let's go ahead and start filling this out. So up at the name, Age of Sage Soap, New versus Old. Um, I'm not sure what the situation means. We'll take a look at that. Maybe click on this instructions button. So why run an image stack poll, add products? What, what is the situation? Control F, situation. All right, this is an imagined shopping scenario that helps voters to immerse themselves in the simulated environment. Click on the button, generate with AI to get three proposals for a situation. All right, let's take a look, see what the AI says to do. Uh, fill in the product name, artisan soap, generate. And let's see what this does. So here's the AI solution. Imagine you have dull, lifeless skin. You found out there was a product like Artisan Soap that can help replenish and brighten your complexion. All right, not sure how we're gonna select this yet. A little unsure, we'll come back to that. Um, I'm usually doing something super basic like which uh, artisan soap uh, image stack appeals to you most. Something like that. We'll see how that pans out for us. All right, so choose an image stack. So let's click that. Import by ASIN. Oh, yes, please. That would be fantastic. All right, let's move this back up here and grab product number one, enter the ASIN. Please wait while we import images. All right, that took a second. We've imported them in. Select a max of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Selected, confirm. All right, product two. Let's do the same thing. Grab this ASIN here. Go back to our poll. Import by ASIN. Select a moment. Grab the seven images, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and select those, confirm. All right, so now we got our first two products. Now we're supposed to have a third product in here. Uh, I kind of don't want a third product because I'm doing like the new versus old and I don't want to skew it. So we'll, we'll see if it lets me do the 
A versus B here. Now we're getting to distribution, audience, ages, etc. Now, now the question becomes, do I only want the men's vote, considering that women are most likely going to be buying this for their man? I don't know. It's kind of tough on that. So I'm not going to narrow down the uh, demographic by, uh, by gender, but I am probably going to do um, an age group of 30 to 50, because uh, I think that's kind of my target audience there. Uh, we're going to go to checkout next. Intellivy was nice enough to give us a few credits to test this out. Uh, they gave it to us with no conditions or string attached. I just like doing tool reviews. And we're going to hit checkout here. It is giving us an error that we have to select the third option. That puts a little wrench in our plans. But let's go grab one of my top competitors. Now the question is, is which Dr. Squatch soap stack should I take? And I need to get something as closely similar as possible. So if I take one of the three um, stacks, that's going to discourage the most appropriate A-B test. So I kind of want to see a four box package if I can. So that one might be okay, but a little bit different on the coloring. All right, I settled on this one. This was the closest one that didn't, that still was a four stack. I really, you only want to test one thing at a time when you run a poll like this. So we're going to grab the ASIN for this one. Uh, it was the one that had the closest colors, not exactly the same sense or flavors, which may be a complication on how we get the test results back. And they only have five images, which is also going to be problematic. But we'll see what happens. So we'll select those five images and import those and we'll do a checkout. And then we're going to get some results back and show you how customers vote, what they said and what we can learn from this test. So I just hit submit and now it's an active poll. Looks like it's going to get 90 responses. After we get the test results, I'm going to be able to share this with other people. See how I've got infinite one hour, one month. So if I want to show the data, but I don't want to permanently show the data, that's a really neat feature. All right, a couple minutes later, I just refreshed the page and we've got our first vote in. One negative on that, one positive, nothing so far on the third vote. So, all right, we'll see what this comes in and we'll update you. Three votes have come in, five votes in, and we've got my new packaging taking a slight lead to start us off. All right, I finished the test results. Let's see what it looks like. And we got a winner. It's always good to beat your competition. Uh, I don't know if it's a fair fight, but I honestly did wonder if my B would steal from my A, honestly. So, uh, but here's, here's their outcome. 46 positive, 23 negative, 27, 24 right there, and 1743. A lot of negative on the Dr. Squatch. And it's probably because my photos are actually better. I, I think they are. Uh, but you never know. So let's go down the list here. So very polarized negative on, on their image stack. So I've got a better image stack. That's obvious. Here's where we got likes, images, looks. Let's just click looks. Let's see what that looks like. This one looks kind of blah. <laughs> this one looks very plain. All right. Cool. Interesting. Simpler and nice looking. Most appealing to look at. There's just too much. Overwhelming. All right. So you, you get comments on every single photo, it looks like. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's unfilter this. I wonder if there's a way to click a particular photo just to get, like, all of that. So let's click on... Can I click on the item? No. Okay. So you can't click... Oh, okay. This is the actual image uh, order. Does that make sense? Image stack, image stack. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's the best, the worst of each image stack right here. So on the A, they really like the main. They really like this. That's good. Let me see what that looks like. Zoom in there. So they really like this one. So that's good to know. Uh, not sure how I feel about this one outranking that. How does that make sense? Oh, okay. So it's not the rank. That's the image order. Yeah, that's the image order. Okay. So could, I guess what I would do is I would rank this by most liked to see. So lots of people like the really overwhelming shot. Uh, I guess the other feature I'd love to see here is when you click it, it would zoom in. Uh, it make it a little easier to look at. So they really like the fact that we show all the sense. Very, very popular image there. So that's our favorite. So nobody liked this one. So 
when when looking at this and you're trying to figure out which images to get rid of, here we go. Very clear. Need to get rid of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Slack channel and I'm going to tell my designer, be like, hey, get rid of these. Ditch these two images and replace. So this is the first one we're going to ditch. And here's the second one we're going to ditch uh, based on the test results. Based on test results. All right, so that's really helpful information to know. Uh, so let's go to the second product. And yeah, people really don't like this dude. Uh, that's good to know. I mean, I, it's, a, it's a fake image anyway, so good to know. Like, you got data now to go back to the designer and be like, like this, hate this. So got negatives on the main image stack for this. So that's interesting. Uh, when I click that, I don't see the negative positives on it. I wish I could do that. Uh, it's kind of curious why I wouldn't be able to see that. So if we scroll through and look at positive negatives, so this image does really good. That one, not so hot. Uh, not good. So, man, most of these images are getting negatives. So ditch these images and replace. Uh, so we're looking at this, this one, this one. And this one. And let's tag my designer on it. So we got those in motion. Now we go look at the competitor. And nobody liked this image. Which, what image was this? All right. People do not want to look at dude's armpits. Got it. All right. That's good to know. <laughs> not that I would have, I guess, not come to that conclusion without data. But, but man, the data is overwhelming there. Nobody wants to look at armpits of dudes. All right, nobody liked that either. And then lots of mixes on the main there. All right, let's click on, so this is the poll insights. Uh, I don't know how I want to filter this. So let's go A. So how does this work? Okay, so people who liked A did not like C. People who liked B also did not like C. Am I, am I reading that right? No, okay, let me filter only B. Here we go. Yeah, pretty much same outcome. All right, and then people who liked C, uh, pretty evenly split on the rest. Okay, so that's that's good information. So I, I really like uh, being able to tell which image is the best and which images to get rid of. That was probably my favorite thing so far. So if we look at male versus female, let's see how the females voted. Are they any different? So looks looks pretty much the same. Let's go male. A lot more females are taking surveys. So that's going to bias the data quite a bit. Something to keep in mind if you want one gender view over another. So that's overwhelming that females do not want to look at a man's armpit. <laughs> and, and like, like in retrospect... Like, I, sh I should have known this already, guys. Like, but I've had this image on my soaps for over a year. And the fact that I didn't figure this out by now is really, really kind of sad. <laughs> so that was worth the test right there. If you get one nugget off a test like this, that pays for it, right? Like, that by itself makes it worthwhile. So I'm very happy with the test results so far. Uh, now we got positive, negative answers. They give you some demographics. I, I, I had selected everybody in age 30 through 50. Uh, 76 of our poll results were female. And so it's really interesting. The men did not vote for the artisan middle B section. Uh, let's see. What else, what else can we learn here? So what I'm trying to figure out next is how to filter between like the vote data uh, cause, cause right now it's, it's a little overwhelming. It's like, how do I narrow this down to understand what I'm, what I'm looking at? So how are they sorting this? Like, can I, can I select like one specific, all right, clear all filters. Can I select just like one photo and learn everything that people wrote about that one photo? I'm not seeing that. So like, that'd be a really cool feature if they added that. Right, because like they're giving us the roll up, and they're not they're not letting us click down. Uh, okay, here's a graph result. That's okay. That's kind of visualizes it. So, so this photo right here, very polarizing. 
And that's that's this big one right there. Uh, all right, so AI summary. What does AI summary do? What did that do? Uh, wait for poll to complete. Pretty sure we're 100% complete. Let me hit refresh maybe. Let's see what that does. Scroll down. AI summary. All right, so no AI yet. Not sure why. Situation insights. How clear the respondents think the situation is? Five. Uh, average clarity, 4.6 out of five. Okay, that's good. I don't know if I did the situation thing right. It's the first time I've seen like a situation thing. Okay. Read responses that mention soap, image, most. All right, I would, I would look for which option stands out to me. Pretty artisan soap and vibrant colors. All right, so those are like the tags. Uh, still, I still really want to see like the roll up for like one particular image and just learn everything about that one image. So struggling with that. So I, I can see this image, many photos, ingredients, convincing, stack because it has so many options. As we scroll through here, most information. So people really like information, color, easy to read. Uh, one person said too overwhelming, widest variety, most choices, simplicity of the image. That's good. Uh, put together image stack, consistent branding, quality looking bright images. So people really like color, visual information, display. Uh, let's see. This one has the best set of neutral images. What one was that? Not sure I agree with that. Let's go through. I, I want to see like all the armpit comments. So this one seems to be most cluttered. Again, I really would like to see a negative. Negative? Okay. So, so we can sort by negative on the filter. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. So, so this is what I like doing cold reviews is because it helps people who are working on UI Right? And some of you who've maybe used this tool before are like, Steven, come on, you just, it's at the top there. It's at the top. Just got to look. And I missed it. So I can select by image stack up here. And I kept trying to click the image. Uh, so that would be a cool UI upgrade. So which image do we want to look at? Uh, let's go one image at a time. So image A here. And we want to look at, mm, I don't think it matters positive, negative. Can I uncheck that? Clear all filters. All right, so you, so to, so to unclear the positive negative, you gotta gotta unclear it all. I don't like that. All right, image one, scroll down. So this one had seven votes. Seems like a low amount. All right, so let's look at the let's look at okay, seven positive, one negative. So when I scroll down. Am I looking at, no, no. So down here, it doesn't show just the image I'm selecting. Uh, I don't like that. I want to see just, I just want to see every comment about one particular image so I can like recap it faster. Am I, okay, maybe that is on the right. Okay, so the negative on the right is that one image. Logo is so weird. I don't understand anyone would choose this. <laughs> well, to get into my brain, I like Zelda and I like my daughter and I made her into a kind of a Zelda character. So you can see that that's where that's coming from. So now to that one customer, that's, that's why, uh, clearly doesn't resonate with that person. Really hard for me to choose between the two sets. Both have things I like about them. Uh, monochrome and Brown didn't capture attention. The girl is weird. I don't know why, but it says cheap in a bad way. No, <laughs> that's you never want to hear that about the character you spent so many hours like like i did like a what, what's that website with like 50 designs and they compete with each other what like 99 designs i think that's what it was yeah that's how we selected it as bad as the other logo is this one's worse <laughs> all right product label looks dated colors look dated man this is like brand new stuff i just made this old timey and weird Oh my gosh. Uh, these people really don't like what I've, what I've built. I like this design the least cause it feels like it's for kids. I, I, I mean like that color's a little understandable. It's, it's a little video gamey labels weird to me. I don't like the lady at all. It makes it seem like it's for just women. Um, hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. 
Least favorite because I do not find the in initial image appealing at all. I find it unattractive. The cartoon looks awful. Would not buy expensive soap from any anime character. <laughs> okay, so truth be told, I was trying to target the anime-loving neckbeards of the world. I I'm going to admit it on camera right now. That was That was who I was trying to target. Now, whether that's a good idea or a bad idea, up for debate. But but that person got it. They didn't like it, but they got it. All right. Let's look at the positives. So, clear s states the products are organic, fancy, packaging's cute. Clearly you what you're receiving. Okay. So, I guess if I was thinking about next steps on like a follow-up test, I may want to do more logo uh, A-B testing to see like how I might improve the logo because clearly not, not winning on the logo with this, with this demographic. Now, whether I resonate with men or not better than women, that's another question, right? Uh, all right, so if we clear filters, what would be good to look at next? What was something else that was like polarizing or so we so we have image seven a lot of people were saying too busy but also very nice with the information so so like something like uh, you can't see that there you go 19 positive nine negative so something like this where you're getting lots of interaction i would argue net positive keep because it's it's polarizing something that's polarizing is generally good and we also have a net positive on the vote um something where you didn't get votes on it i would get rid of Things that you're not getting, you know, positives on, I'd get rid of. Um, so even though this one technically has, like, the second most negatives, I'm going to get rid of that. All right. So let's look at, can I click on B here? All right, image stack B. Here we go. Okay. So what else would be good to look at? So people really liked this particular image. Uh, let's go see why. So they like the ingredient shot. So that's, that's, that's a, a very interesting thing. So filter image. Stack B, image slot three. So I think this, I think it's a little clunky. I'd love to see like being able to just click on the one photo and then see everything about it. Uh, so I, uh, am I Im image stack? So image stack, this is the one I was thought I was clicking into. And then the, vo where did the votes go? That's really confusing. Hold on. Was it on image stack A? No, negative. Clear filters. All right, so the filters are a little confused. See how the 10 positives were there? 14 positives here. So this is the thing This is the thing I want. Like, if I could just click this right here and then see all of this, that's what I want to know. And so it's, like, a little clunky to be able to have to come down and click image stack B. So how do I get to that? Uh, so image stack B. Then the votes disappeared. This is really confusing. Why are the votes disappearing? Filter image three. Yeah, it's, it's just really confusing. And then when I come down here and I'm not seeing what I thought I was going to see. Is it image four? Image two, one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so confused on the UI. Um, all right. Branding of these soaps make them the most elite looking. That's good. I like that's a really good thing. Let's hit a favorite on that. You get a little favorite star. Overall design. So so what we're what we're learning from this is that shots like this do really good and this do really good. So if you're looking to make an infographic angle and trying to figure out what to do, that would be how to do it. Uh, and try and do it. So what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the tool. Again, it's called uh, IntelliV. I'll put a link at the top of the description so you guys can check it out as well. Uh, and if you guys haven't checked out John Aspinall's ASIN Review Lives, we do this every Wednesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. You guys got to come subscribe. Check that out. You guys can put your ASIN in and get a review live and ask follow-up questions. And if you'd like, you can go to myamazonguy.com slash ASIN, that's A-S-I-N, fill this out, put your link in here, and we will review one of your products at no cost, no obligation, send you a personalized five-minute video 
and we'll look at all of your PPC and SEO, your, your design elements, and give you some cool tips and tricks on how to increase your sales. Um, obviously, we want you to hire us. That's why we do this. But it's absolutely free, no obligation, and we hope you find value in it. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. Thanks for checking us out.